Welcome to my channel. So today in this video, I am going to be sharing with you guys this beautiful Indian festive glam look right here. It's a desi, it's a smoky, it's super flawless, stunning, gorgeous, everything that you could actually look for and it's so festive. I love the way it has turned out and it looks so flawless so i wanted to tell you guys that this particular video is going to be a very detailed video everything is explained step by step so that you can actually recreate this look and also i have recommended some amazing products that you could look at from the nagas festive sale if you guys don't know nagas festive sale is going on and sale is the best time to actually buy makeup products at a very good price this is not a sponsored video these are um, my personal recommendations which perform beautifully there are some high-end recommendations there are some affordable recommendations i've given you all options so that you know what you like best and what will look best on your skin so yeah without further ado i think let's quickly get started with the video but before going if you all like the videos that i make please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified every single time I upload a video. Now let's get started with this beautiful festive glam look. So let's quickly get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is my skincare. I always do makeup before skincare. I have not put any moisturizer on my skin and I feel very very dehydrated. So I am gonna moisturize my skin. Now the reason why I moisturize my skin is because it helps in hydrating my skin. It also helps in protecting my skin from all the products that we are gonna put on our face. But other than that, once you apply a good moisturizer and hydrate your skin your makeup is going to sit really well it's going to look very smooth and it's not going to end up looking cakey dry nahi hoga patchy nahi feel hoga whatsoever so isliye moisturization is very important hai for your makeup to look absolutely smooth and flawless so the moisturizer that i am going to use is the clinique moisture surge i love this one i have gone through so many of these this is like my daily everyday morning moisturizer this particular moisturizer is very lightweight, has a gel formula and just keeps my skin hydrated throughout the day. That's the best part about this Clinique moisturizer. Okay, this is very lightweight hai, but at the same time, my skin is din hydrated rehti hai and it just feels so calming on the skin. Another moisturizer which I absolutely love is the Bonds Super Light Gel. This one is a more affordable option and it's sort of like a dew for the Clinique Moisture Surge. So I sometimes use that, I sometimes use this. So you can take your pick. So I'm going to do my eye makeup because there's a good chance that a lot of fallout is going to come on my face. So before I start with my eye makeup, I'm going to do my brows. So for brows, I've been loving, loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is i have the shade ebony it has this very micro brow tip pencil tip as you can see i just swatched a couple so do you see that i don't know whether you can see that and it's very good to fill it in as well as do the brow strokes and a very very close dupe to this one is the Lakme's 3D Brow Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Charcoal but it's usually out of stock so I have other recommendations that are absolutely as good as the Anastasia one it's just that their tips are a little bit more thinner so the first recommendation that I have is the Sugar's Arch Arrival Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe Tom very very similar then the other one is the Makeup Revolution's Brow Pencil in the shade dark brown again a very similar product and the formulas on both of these are actually very good and they of course come with a spoolie i'm gonna use my anastasia one and fill my brows with this particular product okay so first i like to just shape my brow from below and then i'll start adding hair strokes and then the shaping on top and then I'll go ahead and fill it in. 
it's very important to brush the brow because it helps in spreading the product more evenly as you can see once this is done i am going to set my brows using my elf wow brow mascara this is my absolute favorite one it's very very affordable but so good Do you see the difference? It's more neater. So now let's move on to the eyes. First, I am going to prime my eyelids using a concealer. And I'm just going to take like three dots of this concealer. And I am going to blend this out with my Pack Face S1 brush. So it's very important to prime your eyelids before we go in with eyeshadow and especially when we are doing glam looks you want the eyeshadow to stick to your eyeshadow base so that it doesn't move throughout the day and also we have a lot of discoloration so we need to make it even toned so that eyeshadow looks super smooth and blends super smoothly and everything looks seamless for eyeshadow i have like a couple of recommendations for you guys firstly the palette that i am going to be using is the nika professional eyeshadow and blush palette i don't know whether you guys know about this palette but it is an amazing palette and it comes with i think 31 shades 21 powdery rich shades of eyeshadow and five shades of blush and this is what it looks like and this is like literally a palette that you would need you have your browns you have your pinks you have your champagne shades right here and it's a very very pigmented palette and you get five shades of blush like five beautiful shades of blush that you could actually use for everyday wear but the other recommendations that i have for eyeshadow are these eyeshadow quads from nika these are the color palette in three shades which are my absolute favorite one is night out this night out shade is like my go-to because it has a black it has a brown it has like a lighter brown shade and then it has a gold and this just retails for 349 rupees like it is so good the quality of these eyeshadow palettes are just so good like all four of these shades are so pigmented if you can see and even the metallic shade is beautiful so this is one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes to use then the other two that i like from this range are birthday bash this is more of like a pinky toned but more of like mm, dusky pink toned eyeshadows which i love and then i have the other one which is Dest to date this is more of that warm toned brown shade which i love love wearing amazing quality amazing price point and amazing shade range there are so many shades that you can choose from but today i'm going to be using the nika professional one you want to start with a fluffy brush and i am gonna dip into this shade right here and i'm gonna start buffing this in my transition area in back and forth circular motions so since we have not done our base we can be a little bit messy with the eyeshadow application because we can clean it up later so circular motions windshield wiper motions this is just a transition shade to blend the other shades that we are gonna apply later on then i am gonna dip into this shade called as brick and i'm gonna take this on a much more flatter fluffier brush this is the pro art 217 so i'm gonna first stamp it on my outer corners right here and then blend it into my crease and I'm just keeping it in my crease I'm not going high at all just in my crease and back and forth circular motions then I'm gonna dip into this shade called as a tawny and on a very tapered small fluffy brush I am going to start applying this only in my outer corners. 
just to smoke it out a little bit and now I'm gonna take the shade called as copper on a flat eyeshadow brush I'm gonna spritz it with some Sprit fix plus so that it's more of an intense application and then I'm gonna apply it right here on my eyelids just like that you see how beautifully pigmented these eyeshadows are and I'm just going to blend these edges out and then I am going to take that brick shade again and I'm just going to blend out the edges right here yep and then I'm of course going to add some glitter because it's the festive season and we want some pop to the eyes, some glow to the eyes, some sparkle to the eye so for that I'm going to use the eyeshadow press glitter in the shade Girl Crush. I love these pressed glitters from PAC because they are very very easy to use. I have so many of them and I highly highly recommend these. I know you guys love glitter and this is one of the best out there and I know you asked me how to apply it. It's just very simple. These are very easy. Just pick it up on your fingers and press it on your eyelids. Do you see that? Just press it in. You don't need any sort of a glitter glue they don't like come off as such and that's about it and i will just go ahead and blend these out next i'm gonna complete this eye look with some kajal the one that i'm using is the mac extreme black in extreme dimension 24 hour kajal eyeliner this one is so good it's punch proof it's super black it's super matte and trust me it's not gonna come out even if you cry you try to rub it it's gonna stay on your eyes literally for 24 hours trust me on that and it's very creamy and very easy to use so i am gonna use this another one that is very similar in formula is the smashbox always on gel liner in the shade Fishnet. This is another one that I absolutely love. Very similar formula. It's almost from the same sister brand. So it has the same formula. But the MAC one is much, much, much more creamier. And I do have more affordable options like the Nykaa's Smoky Kajal is amazing. The K-Beauty Smoky Kajal is amazing. But the only problem with those is that they are not as creamy as the MAC one. So if you can get this definitely get this because i highly highly recommend this kajal we are gonna do like a smoky wing with this particular one i'm gonna start on my outer corners all the way inside i'm just gonna take like a very pointed brush like this you can even take an angled brush and i'm gonna start So I am definitely going to apply some lashes because this is going to be more of a glam look and the lash that I am going to apply is the Rene Cosmetics and the style is called as Athena. I love Rene lashes. I'm just applying some lash glue which I am pretty much messing it up but um, if you guys want like a recommendation for a good lash glue, Pack has the best lash glue out there like even if you cry or anything. It's not gonna come off before I go ahead and apply my lashes I am gonna apply some mascara to my upper lashes so I have two recommendations for a good mascara like the best mascara out there first is the Maybelline's sky high mascara this is the last sensation sky high which just got viral and it's the best you guys it's waterproof it has this very flexible wand it gives so much length so much volume and it is super black and is non-flaky the other one like my all-time favorite 
mascara has to be the l'oreal lash paradise without thinking these two mascaras are the best in the market right now again this one also gives a lot of length a lot of volume and it's waterproof but i am gonna use my last sensational sky high mascara apply like a good one coat because i am gonna go in with lashes so i don't need like a lot of mascara just something to stick on apply it This false lash is so fluttery as you can see it has this butterfly flutter towards the end which is so pretty. Now that we have our lashes on we are going to move to the rest of the face before that I am going to clean up all the mess that is there under my eyes. While I'm cleaning it up I'm also going to shape our eyeshadow. Do you see that? Perfect. Now to start with the face makeup, I am first going to apply a primer. I am going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Now I have larger pores right in the center of my face. That's where I get oily the most. So I need a pore filling primer. This one is my absolute favorite one currently. There are others which I would like to recommend. One is the Lacme Absolute Blur Perfect Makeup Primer. Again, a pore filling, beautiful primer to make your makeup last throughout the day and make your skin look flawless and poreless other one is this one this is the color bar flawless finish primer again a pore filling primer then there is the nikas prep me up face primer as well so you can take your pick currently i've been loving the f1 because it has this balmy texture which just mm, is so soothing on the skin so i like to take like a good amount of it in between my fingers and press this into my skin a little bit on my forehead chin and it's not at all a heavy primer so do you see like literally my skin has become so poreless that's what I'm looking for now for foundation today I am going to use the Nykaa's all day matte foundation in the shade nutmeg now this particular foundation on my oily skin is budge proof and lasts 24 hours and it's such a lightweight foundation looks beautiful it looks like skin but it has a matte finish it's not heavy whatsoever I love love this foundation if you are an oily skin type try this foundation out you will love it other foundations that you can look at from the nika sale is the nyx can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation my shade is classic tan another very very long wearing matte foundation looks beautiful on the skin i've used this a lot then of course the maybelline fit me foundation is like a staple that you need to have in your collection because it has a medium coverage for everyday wear, I feel like this is a beautiful foundation and it has like a very natural soft matte finish. It's not like completely matte. It has a little bit of glow and it just looks beautiful on the skin and applies beautifully as well. My shade is 228 Soft Tan. And another foundation is the K-Beauty's Hydrating Foundation. Now this is more of a glowy foundation, has like a sheer to medium coverage. So it's actually very good just to even out your skin tone. And if you want to build it up, it builds beautifully as well so you'll get like a good medium coverage out of this foundation it's more like a tinted foundation i i would like to say and it's it just makes your skin glow it looks absolutely beautiful even on oily skin this looks amazing and it lasts on our oily skin as well so i've got you covered there so you can look at these foundations but today i am going to use my nikas all day matte foundation two pumps on the back of my hand and i'm first going to start Totting this on my skin so I still have a lot left on my hand but uh, we'll see if we need it and I've been loving using a brush first to apply my foundation and blend out my foundation this is the pack 231 amazing brush and I will start press and drag press and drag like right in the place and just blending this foundation look at that look how beautiful this foundation looks looks like skin and has this 
beautiful medium coverage and of course if you go ahead and apply another layer it's gonna be more of a fuller coverage foundation but i like a good medium coverage so that you know my actual skin peeks through a little bit and that makes it look much more natural do you see how beautiful this foundation looks now for concealer, I have a lot of recommendations that you could look at. First is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. My shade is Butterscotch. Now this is the exact shade of my skin tone. So I like to use this on an everyday basis when I'm not wearing any foundation. But when I'm wearing foundation, I like to go in with the shade Sand, which is a little bit more lighter than my skin tone, just to highlight under the eyes. But a beautiful full coverage matte concealer looks amazing, blends beautifully. Then I have the K Beauty concealers. I love the shades 150N and 160N. 150N is more like a highlighting shade, and 160N is more like my skin tone shade. And these are hydrating concealers, have medium coverage, cover everything beautifully, and looks very natural. I love these concealers again for everyday use. Then I have my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade. Pure beige, beautiful, beautiful medium to full coverage concealer. And then I have the e.l.f. concealers. I have the matte one and then I have the hydrating one. I love the matte one when I want a matte look and I love the hydrating one when I want a little bit more hydrated under eyes. This is called as the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in the shade Medium Sand. And these are full coverage concealers, you guys. So a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna apply it right here and right here. So little bit around my nose, on my chin, on the bridge of my nose and my forehead. And then I will go ahead and blend it out first with my concealer brush and then I will go ahead and blend it out with my beauty blender. First, I'm gonna blend out the concealer in the chin region the concealer under my eyes to sit for a little bit to get more coverage out of it but around my chin my nose i want like lesser coverage so i'm gonna blend that out first the bridge of my nose mm -hmm. okay. and then i am gonna take my brush and just Stamp this concealer on my skin. Taking my plume makeup sponge, blending everything out. And I'm gonna run this through my entire face just to pick up any excess product if there is. Next, before I go ahead and set my entire makeup, I am actually gonna apply a cream blush. I have been obsessed with cream blush. You guys must already be knowing by now, but the cream blushes that I highly, highly recommend that you get from the Nykaa sale are the nude sticks ones because they are the best there are a lot of cream blushes more on the affordable side which i have recommended in my previous video so if you want more affordable options you can definitely check out that video but i want to talk about my absolute favorite shades from this particular range i have the shade beach babe which is this beautiful pinky warm pinky shade as you can see it's so so pretty i love this one then i have the shade sun kiss this is the nudies all over face color in the shade sun kiss and og of mine this is more of like a brownish nudie shade as you can see and then i have the shade naughty and spice which is more of a mauve pink shade <clears throat> so so good and the shade that i'm gonna use is beach babe because it's so pretty so what i like to do is i like to take my elf buffing foundation brush and i go in directly on the blush apply it on the highest points of my cheek right here and i will blend it out in my temples that way it looks more natural and as you can see 
I am applying it in this particular direction that way it just lifts my cheek a little bit and I will start stamping it I'm just stamping it I'm not dragging it if I drag it the foundation concealer underneath is gonna move so stamp this product into the skin in the upward direction and I'm gonna get it right to, till the eyeball not below that otherwise my face will start looking droopy so that's the position of the brush and do you see instantly this side of my face is much more lifted as compared to this side to add a little bit on my nose just to give it some color because it just ends up looking very very pretty okay. and now I am gonna set everything using a loose powder now the loose powders that I would like to recommend are these two one is the K-Beauty's HD loose setting powder my shade is latte very very smooth very finely milled lightweight and makes skin looks super blurred out and smooth like you have a filter this is an amazing 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 <laughs> loose powder and it's very lightweight and the other one is the elf aloe glue setting powder in the shade medium now this has a little just a little bit of a natural glow to it but again does the same job of blurring the skin making it look very very smooth and flawless and literally like you have like a blurring filter on yourself this is again a very finely milled lightweight setting powder so today i'm actually going to use my damp sponge to set my under eyes so i'm going to bake a little bit because we want that flawless smooth looking base press 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 i'm just baking under the eye so that i don't have like a lot of using happening And then I'm not gonna let the bake sit for a very long time. I'm just going to press this powder into my skin immediately. And did you see that I did not take any excess powder and set the rest of my face? Because the foundation that I've applied is matte and it's already self setting, so I don't actually honestly need to set. Now, of course, I am gonna add a little bit of bronzer just to get a little bit more warmth to my face. And the palette that I recommend everyone should get for bronzing is this K Beauty one. This is the K Beauty Contour and Highlight pro palette and it comes with these three shades right here i love this particular one to bronze my skin with and this particular one is more of a cool tone one so you can contour with this as well and this particular shade is more of like my skin tone compact powder shade so sometimes i use it just to set under the eyes and the rest of the face if i need it but today i'm going to use this particular shade to bronze up my skin and this particular shade to contour my nose so brush that i am gonna use to bronze up my skin is this particular one this is the pack 368 brush this is more like an angled fluffy brush you can also use it to apply your blush with but i'm gonna use it to contour because it sits right in the hollows of my cheeks and then of course on my forehead so i'm gonna pick this up gonna dust it on my hands first before I go in and then I'm gonna start stamping it into my skin you see that it's adding so much warmth sometimes rubbing can make it look a little bit muddy so like small stamping strokes just makes everything look much much more smoother sometimes i just like to take my bronzer and just sweep it downwards that way it looks more swished of the face i am going to complete my eyes so the under eye is going to be quite smoky so for that i'm going to first start off with my mac 
extreme black kajal and apply it on my lower lash line all the way to the inside and then taking like a flat brush like so i am gonna just try and blend and just gonna complete this eye look with my mascara now before we go on with highlighter, I'm going to set this makeup in place so that everything melts together, looks seamless, beautiful, blended in and looks like skin. That For that you have to use a setting spray and of course it makes your makeup last throughout the day. So the setting spray that I'm going to use is the MAC Prep Plus Prime. Fix Plus, my absolute favorite one. Another one that I recommend is the Pack micro finish makeup fixer again a beautiful beautiful one adds a lot of hydration just melts everything together and of course my smashbox primer water which now comes in a different packaging which is this one this is the smashbox photo finish revitalize 8 in 1 primer essence you can use this before you start your makeup and of course after you have finished doing your makeup but today i'm going to use my fix plus because this adds a little bit more of a dewiness because we have this matte look going on so we want a little bit of a dew going on so keep it like a good how much one and a half feet away from you and just spray like a good amount of it do you see my skin looks much more juicier right now and that's because of the fix plus it's very important that you set your makeup in place for highlighter i'm gonna give you all two affordable options and two high-end options that i absolutely want love so for affordable side i love these two these are like my top favorite highlighters one is the maybelline master chrome highlighter in the shade molten gold and the other one is the wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder in the shade precious petals both of these are like very smooth blinding glowy looking highlighters but very finely milled so you won't find it's chunky when you apply it i hate chunky highlighters and then for the high end side i love love the bobby brown's highlighting powder in the shade bronze glow now this is like my top favorite highlighter because it is so freaking blinding and it is this gold shade and just makes my skin look super wet i love this one and the other one that i love is the becca's champagne pop highlighter again a very very beautiful champagne shade highlighter super duper glowy and blinding i'm just gonna use my absolute favorite one which is the bobby brown's highlighting powder in the shade bronze glow because i want to show you how beautiful this highlighter is i'm gonna go a little away so that you can see it i like to take it on my back 094 brush and i'm gonna apply it right at the highest points of my cheeks i hate a chunky highlight so this one is like mm, so pretty look at that glow you guys was the tip of my nose right here and the bridge and my inner corners just to make it pop very important and finally for lips i'm first gonna start off with lip liners i have some amazing lip liner recommendations for you guys firstly i have this one this is the my glams lit matte lip liner in the shade yeet so i love like these dark brown lip liners because that way it makes my lips look a little bit fuller and then i go ahead and apply like a lighter lipstick this again has a very creamy formula very very pigmented then the other one that i love is this makeup revolutions super full lip liner and this is in the shade wonder this is again more of a cool tone brown so when i want to go with like a proper nude brown lip color this is the lip liner that i use this is what it looks like and again very creamy very pigmented then i have the k beauty's action matte action lip liner in the shade fame are amazing the other one that i love is hype which is more of a nude lip liner but this one is 
more of a brown lip liner as you can see and then finally i have the kiko milano's lip liner in the shade 23 531 chocolate you can see these are very similar in color but this one has more of pink to it this is the one that i am going to use again very creamy very pigmented And then for lips, I am going to use the NYX Lip Lingerie Push-Up Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade Exotic. And if I can remember, there was this particular shade Exotic in the Lip Lingerie, the original Lip Lingerie collection. And I used to love it and I'm so happy now it comes in this cream so bullet lipstick format. And it's such a beautiful shade, you will see. So this is my final Indian festival glam look. I absolutely love the way it has turned out. It's smoky, it's daisy, it's beautiful. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. I know it was a little bit longer, but I wanted to explain everything step by step so that you guys could recreate it. And I hope all my recommendations were helpful. Everything is going to be mentioned in the description box below. So definitely check it out. I am going to go now and I'm going to see you all in my next video very soon. Until then, bye.